G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the USS Grayling, Sturgeon class nuclear attack submarine and we are currently in the Greenland, Iceland, UK gap. We've received our next mission orders, we are to hunt down a wolf pack of diesel electric Con submarines. Zero, five, now one, we've just zero, deployed one. the towed array and we now have our Sierra 1. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. It's actually a pretty clean signature. What do we got? Conditions. Ooh, oh, that's a bad day. That's a bad day for these guys. Only 79 decibels in the water. Con, not good. No. Steady course. Well, great for me, not good for them. Diesel electrics, if you get up around the 90, 90, 95, 98 decibel, um... It's actually really easy for them to hide in the background noise because they're so quiet. Even the older diesel electrics are quiet by default. And yeah, I'm calling Foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as Con, dive at 200 zero, zero feet, dive by. And yep, it's just below the layer, that's okay. It means we can go above the layer to launch. So, total ray is out, tracking, and I think Sierra 1 is a Foxtrot. Now, the mission briefing suggested the Wolf Pack will have between two and four diesel electrics. I'm going to continue our turn. Helm left to two, eight, six, helm I. Expected range of the Foxtrot is only 4.8. Now, the main reason I'm bringing it around is because chances are if there's a second one here... Yep, looks like target has been confirmed. Um, if there is a second one in here, it's going to be heading in the same direction, and I want to line the tow array up on an angle where we can actually detect it. A little burst of cavitation there. Current speed is 8 knots. 6.6 kiloyards confirmed range. This is awfully close, but so far we don't appear to have been detected. Just to give you an idea, we should almost be able to see it from here. Should be in about the same depth as us, slightly lower. I guess not. If we, uh, if the mod didn't include fogging up the water, yeah, we would absolutely be able to see it. A turn there. I don't know if we can see ours. No. Yeah. I'm basically just killing a little bit of time here while I'm letting the total ray do what total rays do and see whether or not we can actually find the foxtrot. Uh, see if we can find its buddies. There should be, as I said, should be at least two. Um, if we don't find one soon enough, well, it looks like we, yeah, we're slightly apart, so we're going to be getting slightly different separation. But I will change depth, and I will fire a torpedo above the layer. And see if I can get the torpedo to hook around and come in from the front, because we are close. So, assuming the launch transient isn't detected, I would rather not to be counterfired. Nothing you haven't heard me say before, and not really a new plan, but there's no real reason to, uh, to deviate from what works. But before I fire anything, since it's not closing and we're not actually worried about a risk of the um, a risk of the fox truck getting close enough to detect us automatically, I think I'm going to just wait a little while before we launch. We're not in any rush. 985 feet max depth, 16 knots, 125 decibels, and 78. Yeah, we should be able to detect another one fairly far out without too much of an issue. Oh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're cruising along. It's only been a couple of minutes. Down to six point two, the fox trot. Oh, it's it's sort of swerving slightly, and it's just yeah, it's slowing down. It's just dropped to three. All right, we're changing depth. I'm going to a hundred feet. Make depth one zero zero feet. Dive by. That'll put us above the layer. Yep, 
Actually, all things considered, instead of hooking and going in front, I might actually hook the torpedo through to the rear, circle around and come in behind the Foxtrot. Any counterfire will be down in this direction, which works better. And also makes the torpedo itself harder to detect once we get out of the uh, frontage. 6.2 kilo yards still, still three knots. I'd like it to accelerate before I fire. It's running awfully quiet, which increases its chances of being able to hear the transient. Three knots. Con, dive at one zero zero feet, dive by. So six. So I'm just watching the speed and range down here at the moment. There it is, that's what I wanted. Seven knots. Are you doing seven? Turning back in our direction. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Eight knots. Make turns for five. Full knots. stop. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Yeah, ultra quiet, full stop. 6-1, it's turning in towards us close. It's possibly heard us, or heard something, was listening, and made a move. So as the torpedo turns here, it's above the thermal layer, which is going to help. Moderate duct, moderate layer, so that's good. But we're going to move out of the shadow of our submarine, so at this point... ...is where it could potentially be detected. We're in our visual range. So we're on parallel to its path, look at the Foxtrot's turning away, which is... Good, still holding eight knots. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra One. Okay, well, we have found our second target. Con sonar, new contact bearing zero eight two, designated Sierra Two. And it looks like a second Fox Con strut. sonar, Sierra Two is classified as launch was there. Submarine. Torpedo is not coming at us. That is still a concern. Second torpedo launch. Foxtrot is maneuvering away, so we will get our shoot, second shoot, launch out. I sir. Con sonar. Launch transient from. Launch Sierra transient one. out. Okay, that one will be coming for us. Fine. Tight away. Retract. The thirteen one three zero zero feet. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. All right, Con Foxtrot two. Let's check conditions. Five knots. Make turns for one. Go to 15, Make hope we don't break any wires one, here while five, I'm getting ourselves nuts. set up. Maneuvering eye. And... Come right make to a right hand zero, turn into the two, torpedo. Six, helm eye. Okay, torpedo one, we are matching depth. Uh, and torpedo is on depth with target. Both foxtrots are running, which is the smart thing to do. 
Actually, not really. There's no way known at their speed they're ever going to outrun a sturgeon. The better bet would be to dump all the tubes and go aggressive. Like, your chances of survival in either case are not particularly Con, great, no. but Steady course. at the very least, if you go aggressive, you might be able to force the nuke boat to disengage. That would be the better play. I've actually been asked to do a campaign playing something like a Foxtrot from the start. I believe the new version of Dot Mod, which I will update to once I have completed this campaign, actually has a Soviet campaign when you st where you start off in a diesel electric like a Foxtrot, and you have to earn and like you have to earn promotions. Your experience points don't just improve your crew; they allow you to, to upgrade submarines. I think that's what I was reading. I'm going to double check on that one. So I might do that next. I don't think there's a NATO version of it, although that would be interesting, but it would play, potentially play through the Soviet line, starting in a Foxtrot and seeing exactly what I could work uh, our way up to. Control. Weapon acquired. Cool, Torpedo 1 has acquired. Torpedo 2 will acquire soon. We are nearly at 1,300 feet. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, eight, zero. Yep, this torpedo con, is no threat. Fire, con, dive at one, three. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Yep, torpedo one is reacquired past the countermeasure. Torpedo two still searching. And I am going to drop to... Ten knots. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns. With for these two panicking, one, there's no reason zero, for me to go any solid knots. than that. They can't hear me. Con fire at all. control. Weapon acquired. All right, two has acquired. And we've had no more torpedo launches, so this might be the entire group. It was between two Con and sonar. four Noise diesel electrics. Bearing. Zero, two, nine. Con sonar. Noise maker bearing. Zero, Noise seven, nine. Noise makers deployed. Con, fire control. Weapon acquired. Ah, uh, silly torpedo. Took the wire. I took the, uh, the countermeasure. Come on. Turn back on target. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. There we go, weapon has reacquired. And I think she's con, done. Sonar lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, yep. zero, seven, nine. Contact breaking up. And, uh,. Yeah, Con this one's sonar, not looking good either. Bearing, zero, two, five. Con, fire control. What Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, zero, two, five. Contact breaking up. Okay, one and two down. Let's reload the tubes. And let's go to 500 feet and just have a quick look around to see whether or not five, there zero, is anything zero, else in the area. So, I just was just about getting ready to uh, call it a day here and decided to do a quick active ping and we have picked up a Sierra 3, which we have confirmed as another Foxtrot. Um, I accidentally misclicked and deployed a decoy as well, so <laughs> that was a waste of one. So, we have another target. Range is 7.8 kiloyards. 7.7. .7. Shoot two one, aye sir. Tube one away. Nothing else so far, and no response from it all. I think it's desperately trying to not be noticed. The uh, the torpedo here was no issue whatsoever. Went straight past. No problem. So we're just going to hook this torpedo around and bring it up on the tail of this foxtrot and see if in the process we manage to find anything else. So there was one extra. Transient from Sierra three. Oh, and we got detected. We got detected. So that's a smarter move. Well, I wouldn't turn away. I would not turn away. Spraying three torpedoes. I'm pretty sure the Foxtrots have 
four, no, I think they might have six tubes up front. Um, let's check. Yeah, it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see how these are really based on uh, World War II U-boats. Yeah, six tubes in the front. It's fired three. That gives it three shots remaining in the tubes, assuming everything is loaded, which you'd, you'd make the assumption, which is fair. But I wouldn't turn away. Now, they're actively pinging. Because you can't, you can't outrun the torpedo. There's nothing you can do to outrun the torpedo. The Mark 48 is faster than your sub, and the nuke boat that is uh, hunting you is also going to be faster when you're in a Foxtrot. Your only option, for only chance for survival, is either to force the nuke boat to disengage, or to sink the nuke boat. Like, that's the reality. That's your only option. Alright, torpedo on and tracking. Let's go Cops active are. ourselves. To active search. Main reason I'm going active, he's pinging around anyway, he'll be able to detect us now. I just want to see whether or not there's anything else out here. We've got a Sierra 3, there could be potentially a fourth boat. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. I'm not getting Con, anything sonar. though, so Switching I'm going to shut it back down. And I'm not too worried about him hearing us pinging and getting our exact location anyway, because he's at 16 knots. He's full flank in a foxtrot, he's going as hard as he possibly can, which means his sensors are just about Con, blind. Sonar. His active pinging... Bearing. Zero. Three, two. If he slows down, he's going to pick us up. If he doesn't, he can't hear us anyway. So it's a perfect opportunity to have a little bit of a look around and see exactly what's Con, going on. Fire control, weapon acquired. And yeah, from the looks of it, it's just the three. So they said between two and four. Three is between two and four. So this looks like our last target. Flick over to the uh, the 3D view and have a look here as it comes in. I'm surprised we haven't seen kilos. When I got the mission objective for uh, diesel electrics, I was kind of hoping for a kilo wolf pack. Foxtrots is expected, but kind of disappointing. Now there'll be a countermeasure launch in just a second. There it is. Bearing. Zero, two, eight. Just a little manual turn of the torpedo and then let it straighten up. Con sonar lost contact. Boom. Sierra 3, last bearing. Zero, Truth of the matter, two, by the way, seven, if you've ever seen the, uh, the videos of the test fires of uh, Mark 48 torpedoes when they actually, uh, actually detonate, um, the truth of the matter is, if a submarine like this, like a Foxtrot, was hit with a Mark 48, it would straight split the entire boat in half. There, would, there wouldn't be this. Um, Mark 48s are designed to essentially break the hull of cruisers in half. A submarine like this at depth, it would just snap it in two. Like there, there is the one thing you can say, as morbid as this might be, there would be no survivors from an encounter like this. The concussion of the Mark 48 detonating alone, even on the off chance that the submarine didn't split in two, would kill everybody in the boat from Batterstone. Nobody would survive it. Alright, so after action report for the USS Grayling, SSN 646. Scattered light breeze, we're at the 23rd of January 1985 too, by the way. Uh, Foxtrot, three sunk, 7,500 tons, three torpedoes fired, three impacts on target, 30,000 experience gained, no systems damage, and... Fine work dealing with those boats, Commander. Every sub we kill makes it that much safer for our Navy and merchant colleagues await further orders. So we should receive a news report. Yes, we do. Uneventful convoy runs. It was hoped that the dwindling number of operational enemy submarines would allow NATO units to take more offensive posture. We can bring the fight to the enemy. Maybe we can force a quick end to this war in favorable terms to the US congressman. Cool. 
Right, so our new mission, Soviet ballistic missile submarines are preparing to sortie, their first, uh, sortie to their firing positions in the Barents and Kara Seas. You must infiltrate their bastion east of Severny Island, find and sink them before they can strike at the continental US. If you fail this mission, you may not have a home base to return to. This is the full, this might be the final mission of the campaign. We might be bringing this one to a close. Usually the ballistic missile submarine mission is the final mission. Transit to patrol area red 637. Locate and sink the enemy ballistic missile submarines. Indication is there could be two because there is two potential areas to go to. Avoid detection by enemy anti-submarine warfare patrols. All right, well shit just got real guys. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm going to let this one go here. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning very soon. Until next time, remember to click that like button if you did. Share and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, take care.